When working with the Revit structure to create a family file from a template, the family editor automatically loads with the tools you need to create that particular family. Many of the tools used in project files are available, as well as several family specific ones. So what we're looking at here is the welcome screen. And as you can see, you've got the option of projects or families. Now, as I mentioned earlier, when you go to the welcome screen and click on new here, it'll prompt you for an RFT, a Revit family template. Now, at the moment, I'm in the UK metric settings within Revit structure. So I'm getting a lot of metric Revit family templates. So I might want to create, for example, a metric column. So there's my template there, my RFT. So when I click on open now, this will go into the family editor. Now it looks very much like when you're working in a Revit project. But if you look at the top of the screen now, it's telling you family two floor plan. Now you've still got your browser here. You'll notice you've still got your browser and your different views. So you'll notice there we've got a floor plan, which is the lower reference level. We've got ceiling plan, lower reference level, 3D views, view one, and elevations as well. Now this is your family setting. So what I would need to do here is save this as a family in one of those family folders that I mentioned earlier. So when you go to load a family, you can obviously load that family up and find the family type component that you want to load into your Revit project. Now at the moment, if we look here, these are our parametric settings. So we've gone for a column. So as you can see, everything's equal each way, horizontally and vertically, and the default width and depth is 600. We can obviously edit those if we want to. We can click on it like that. And as you can see, that's a linear dimension and it's a parametric dimension. It's a parameter. Can you see that? So it says dimensions, linear dimension, style, parameter. It's a parameter in this particular case, not just a regular dimension like it would be. Now, the nice thing is once you've created this family, if you want it to be project specific, you can just load it straight into a project if you want to, like so. However, you might want to save it to your server or to your local laptop file so that you can use it over and over again. You might not want it to be project specific. So you've got the family editor open there. What you need to start doing now is adding the components to the parametrics to create your family. So you need to add the elements, for example. So what we need to do here is work on whether we need any more reference lines or reference planes, for example. Or what I can do here is just start creating what I want to add to this. So you'll notice here I've got forms, sweeps, blends, different 3D shapes that I can add. I've got model lines, I can add a component, so I can place an element in the building model based on an element type. So I can add a component to another Revit family if I want to. It's up to me how I do that. So that's how your family editor works. Now I'm not gonna go into any detail here because as we work through the videos, we will create a basic Revit family and insert it into our Revit project.